the wall. Donald Trump. The wall. The wall. Donald Trump presents the wall. Uh, disappointing. Yeah, there, there. I feel like it had a lot of potential. Um, and then I, I, it, I've strange, not strange. I, I don't know what to think about this movie. Um, there's really not even a whole lot to it. There's only like. What, like three or four characters? There's two characters and a voice. Let me tell you what I thought this movie was going to be and why All right. Why I was disappointed. I thought it was going to be about these two soldiers who get pinned down by a sniper. Yep. John Cena gets shot but is pretending to be dead because he knows the sniper has an eye on him. Mm-hmm. Aaron Taylor Johnson... Knows that John Cena's alive and is trying to figure out a way to retrieve him, get him to safety and keep him alive. Like that's his mission. Yes. And so I thought it was going to be this back and forth of trying to trick the sniper and get ways to move John Cena to safety. Like I thought that was the whole mission. Okay. I, so I, so I, what I thought it was going to be was, so right there at the beginning, right, mm-hmm. they're they're in the bushes yes. and they're focused on that wall, right? Yep. The wall that they don't know if there's actually someone there or not. Yes. And I thought it was going to be them pretty much camped out right there in, in like a, a standoff with someone who's on the other side of that wall. N- neither of them, neither side knowing if the other person is even still out there, uh-huh. but they don't want to get up in case they are. You know, and it's just like, it becomes like a mental game. Like, we're, we're held hostage here by potentially nothing on the other side of this wall. You know, mm-hmm. it, like, a, by a wall is the only thing stopping us from being able to leave this and that. I don't know. Something along those lines. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. So what this. I really, I, yeah, I didn't know anything about it going into it. Oh, you Other did, than did, John Cena. Did you watch the trailer at all? No. Okay. So the trailer makes it seem like a much better movie than it turns out to be. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so what happens is John Cena does get shot by the sniper. Aaron Taylor Johnson runs to try to help him, to protect him. He's getting shot by the sniper. He gets shot a couple times. Yeah. Right? He gets shot in the leg. He gets shot. I think in, he said three times. Yeah. He gets, so the antenna on his radio gets shot off. His water uh-huh. bottle. Gets a, sh- a hole through it. Oh, that's right. And his knee gets blown out. Oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> which we find out was all intentional. This is the greatest sniper of all time. He's shooting at 1500 yards, which is a hundred yards short of a mile, essentially. If it's, if you, if you go to meters, it's a hundred meters short of a mile. That okay. is, very, very far to be so accurate, so precise on a target that is moving, dodging, weaving, bobbing, you know, like doing everything yeah. he can to not get hit. And this guy's just like, yeah, no, I, I meant to exactly shoot your water bottle. I meant to shoot your antenna and I meant to shoot your knee because I hit the artery that's going to make you bleed out slowly. So by tonight you will be dead. Yes. Um, <laughs> Once we get further into this movie, I'll tell you why none of that bothered me at all. Okay. Uh, so Aaron Taylor Johnson gets shot while he's trying to protect John Cena. John Cena appears to be dead. Aaron Taylor Johnson is not sure. He's calling out to him. Nothing. No response. John Cena. Is- he's, I was, I also thought he was dead. Like I thought that's just, he's just dead. Yeah. No, it made sense. Like there was, there was no part of me that thought he might be faking it or maybe even just like pass out and he'll be back. So I thought he just dead because he laid there and he bled out for a long time. (laughs) Yeah. He gets shot right through the gut and is on the ground for hours. I knew he was alive because in the trailer it shows him crawling with the gun and all that type of stuff. Shows him talking to Aaron Taylor Johnson from the ground. Like he's shot. He's laying down and he's talking. They're having a conversation and stuff like in the trailer. And so that's why, why? I thought the whole yeah. thing was 
him, his whole mission to stay alive was just to not move, which I thought like the, so this is essentially, I don't know if you've ever seen phone booth or buried. It's one of these claustrophobic, like Mm -hmm. solo movies, right? Like you're in one setting castaway, but castaway is a little bit different. It's a wider. Yeah. Yeah. Like phone booth. You're, you're stuck in the phone booth the entire movie, right? You're, you're so like just one setting, very claustrophobic. Yeah. Having the character, having John Cena's character being stuck to where he has to sit still. He's not allowed to move or he's going to die. And he's like, all of that while being in probably tremendous pain. Yeah. Like, he's actually dying at the same time. Like if he moves, he dies, but if he doesn't move, he's going to die. So it's like, man, that would be very compelling of a story element to focus on of his like, all right, we have to do something. I need you to do this and I'm going to move an inch or you need to do like that type of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, but what happens is you think he's dead and Aaron Taylor Johnson calls, for support on his headset radio, his main radio is busted, but his headset radio is picking someone up. Turns out that's the sniper pretending to be an American. So yeah, he's he's the 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 sniper is trying to get this guy's location right, but he's trying to present it as in like, hey, if you want us to come get you, we need to know exactly where you're at. We need this information and that, and we need you to fire your gun. You know, up in the air so we can pinpoint exactly where you're at, yeah. which doesn't make any sense. That makes zero sense. But even the guy was like about to do it. Yeah. Like he was like, he was questioning it and he knew it didn't sound right. But at this point he was, you know, pretty desperate yeah. and he'd also been losing a lot of blood and everything. So he was like about to do it. And it was until the guy had, had said sergeant and it was the way that he said it. You could kind of hear his accent come out in it. And so that's what tipped him off. He didn't fire the gun, and then it becomes a man versus man standoff, pretty much. Well, it's a movie. This movie is a psychological thriller, or at least that's what it's trying to be. And uh, they tried to make it realistic, and it's not. Nothing about this felt realistic. The them sitting there talking over the radio for hours, and like. Just going back and forth on different things makes zero sense. Yeah. And they they set it out. It now you can tell me if you disagree, but my impression was this was a political statement against the military. It seemed like uh, the sniper. I think his name was Jabba. 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 Jabu. One of Jabu, those. Yeah. Jabba. He. He was Which the, supposedly that was a real person. The sniper? Yeah. He was the sympathetic character. They he's like, How why are you why are you trying to kill us? You know, we're here to help and the guy's like, How are you here to help? You're here to take our oil. You're not here to help. And he's like, Well Yeah, he he, he makes that line because he's like something about trying to build up your infrastructure and whatever, and he's like, How he's like he he makes a comment about pipelines, and he's like, "Oh, pipelines for us to make money." Yeah, yeah and yeah, so that was. And he he I ma- don't know he makes yeah. a comment about how they are in his country with weapons, and he's the terrorist for fighting them, fighting back at them, and like all these yeah. things of like trying to make him seem like the reasonable one, when in reality. He is attacking people who were not fighting him. He, yeah, exactly. He lured them there. He killed contractors so the army would send out soldiers to find out what happened so he could Just shoot pick, them. Pick them off. Yeah. Like he is, okay, here- he is not the sympathetic character, but the movie is trying oh. to make a point of like, oh, uh, what America does in war is evil and they kind of deserve it. And they they really hammer that point home when Aaron Taylor Johnson is telling the story about how he accidentally killed his buddy and he just lied to everyone. And it's like, seriously, you're 
like this is what the story you want to tell like oh he's he's a he's a bad guy because he accidentally shot his buddy which also how how did that happen how is he shooting at a sniper like yeah, that made no si- i was very confused when he was telling that story so i'm not a hundred percent on the details of what <laughs> went down yeah so the the story is there was a sniper shooting back at him. He was trying to shoot the sniper back. His buddy somehow got in the way. That's not how anything works. Like it doesn't make any no. sense. No, that because if if you if yeah it like for if, that reason right because you would get you you just it doesn't happen like that. If you were in a building and you came around the corner and accidentally shot someone, I get it. Uh-huh. That makes sense. If you're, we've all been there. <laughs> if you're sniping someone, if you have a rifle with a scope, you are aiming so far away. Yeah. You would not accidentally aim at your buddy unless he stepped in front of your scope. Like I don't get yeah. how you could accidentally whip and shoot him. It doesn't add up at all. No. I don't know. Yeah, that didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um. So here's the question I have. Okay. After they clear the site, right, and John Cena and John Cena walks down to John Cena, <laughs> John John Cena, to go check everything out, right, and yeah. he's convinced there's no one like they can leave, you know, everything's good, this and that, blah blah blah, uh, and he's like surveying the site and looking at everyone, but then he goes to the, the vehicle, right, where one of the guys have been shot out, yeah, but he sees another person sitting in the driver's side, and like. Presumably, I guess presumably was that was someone that they couldn't see before, and then all of a sudden he's like, "What made him so suspicious?" Like, "Hey, hold on, something's not right here," and then he gets shot. Like, what changed? That I didn't understand that. Uh, and it was all how accurate the shots were. I think, if I remember correctly, he's like, "Oh wow, this does is that matter though." Well, because their theory was this was like a a drive by type of thing. Where like someone just pulled up on these guys and killed them and took off. But it being like a legit skilled sniper is a much bigger threat to them because the sniper could still be out there, which clearly he was. Okay. Well, I guess that makes a little more sense. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like how careless John Cena was. Just shaking like, his butt in the middle of another <laughs> build? No, that, that I liked. I wish it was a little more. <laughs> just how. His, like, part of his reasoning was like, okay, we've been here for, what, 18 hours or whatever it is? Yeah. And he's like, no one, no one's gonna wait around that long. I'm like, well, you did. Yeah. So, it's not impossible, and I'm sure that they would wait around that long. Yeah, and I also didn't understand, I didn't understand why it was just the two of them. You know, like, why? Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you're going to clear this place and a bunch of people have already died, why just send two people to go and sit on it? Like, I get, yeah, I and, get the overlook. And, and why would it be a sniper team? Yeah, there would be, like, a sniper team and then, like, a, a ground team. Yeah. Right? With, like, A Humvee rifles. and, like, yeah. an armored Humvee that would, like, pull up. Pull up, check it out. And, you know. And if there's someone shooting, get back in and leave. Yeah. And the sniper team can try to take care of it from wherever they're at. Yeah, exactly. But no, that's not. It it, it just that's it doesn't. Do. I don't know. It doesn't really add up to me. I don't, maybe this is more accurate to the military, but I highly, highly doubt that. Yeah, I don't think so. So, Aaron Taylor Johnson, whose name is Isaac in the movie, or Eyes, which was a terrible nickname. Uh, he is an ex-sniper. Well, that, that, that is a nickname for what he does, though. Yeah. It's just convenient that his name is also Isaac. Except they call him I-S-Z, is how it's written. Not oh, really? E-Y-E-Y-S. I gotcha. Uh, well, then that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he, he is an ex-sniper who's given up using a rifle. At least that's what he says. He's like, I carry that scope to remind me I can never pick up a rifle again. Well, he's carrying a rifle the entire time, and he shot it multiple times. Like, he's, yeah. he's just not using a sniper rifle. 
Like he's I still- just don't want to be as accurate to remind me <laughs> of what I was. Because when I'm really accurate, I, I accidentally kill people. Have friendly fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather not be that good. Um. Yeah, because he—I mean—he's got like it was like an M4 or something like that in the sidearm. Like he's got, yeah. he has weapons on him. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. I, it's, it's a dumb line to try to push forward a point. Like, you know what it reminded me of? Did you ever see Snowpiercer? No, I want to. I just haven't. Oh man! <laughs> now I can't make this point without ruining that movie. Don't ruin it. It's a good one. Uh, but we can talk about it when you finally watch it. What was I going to say? He, he, he's trapped behind the wall, right? He gets shot in the leg. He ends up over the other side of the wall. John Cena is bleeding out. He doesn't know if he's still alive. Figures out that the guy on his radio is the actual sniper. And then they start talking to each other and he's trying to manipulate the sniper, but the sniper is the, the sniper is so unreasonably skilled at everything that he, and he's smart. Yeah, that he's he's just like a really boring character in that aspect. Like there you never felt like John Cena or Aaron Taylor Johnson would ever get the upper hand. Yeah, like they were they were doomed. Yeah. It was just a matter of time. And I know you have to have a lot of discipline to be a good sniper. Like you have to be willing to sit on a target for a long time. And yeah. you know, never move and like always be ready to take the shot when it comes. But I don't really buy that that's what was happening with this sniper. That he had him pinned down and was constantly looking at the right spot. Always. You know, like. No. Yeah. Cause it's like a full day that goes past. Uh huh. And I, I just, I don't know. I just don't really find it that believable. I, I think it would have been much more interesting if Aaron Taylor Johnson never contacted with him, never talked to him. And was just trying to save John Cena. And they're held down by sniper fire. And he's trying to figure out how to survive. Hmm. Yeah. That, I mean, that, it would, I think it probably would have been a little more suspenseful. But then they also couldn't, uh, hammer home the fact that the, were the bad guys. Yeah. I, I there mean, was that. No, no dialogue. Right? That was the whole point of the movie, didn't it feel like? Like that? It did. It seemed like American soldiers are bad. And, like, whatever your, your political stance on war and all that type of stuff, like, if you think the government is bad for going to war, that's fine. That's, yeah. that's a reasonable stance to have. Right. But you have to recognize that the soldiers, the ones who are willing to die for, you know, your freedom to protect you, to, you know, keep things safe, regardless if you think why they're doing it, like who's directing them to do it is, has bad intentions. Those guys are, yeah. are sacrificing so much. Those guys are like right. legit heroes. And to make them the bad guys is very frustrating to me. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I it's, I'm fine yeah. with the idea of yeah, war is bad. I get it. I, I agree. I don't like war. I think that's a bad thing. But soldiers are good, <laughs> you know. Like they, yeah. Some of them are dumb. I, I'll give you that. They, some of them make bad choices. I know quite a few guys who were soldiers. It doesn't make them great people, but it doesn't. They're still right. heroes, you know. Like they're still. Like, you can't just disrespect them like this and make them the bad guys when they're not, they didn't even do a good job at it. Like, no, they didn't. I don't know. It's, 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 yeah, it's whatever. (laughs) I know what you're saying. (laughs) I don't know. It, It really made me mad. So I'll tell you why. None of the, the, the bad snipers actions bothered me at all because I was convinced that he was not really talking to him. It was like a fever dream. Oh, that would have been kind of interesting. And he was just like laying there bleeding out. Yeah. And as he bled out more, he was like, like imagining these conversations with the person who shot him. Yeah. Just because it seemed like he knew a lot of personal information, right? Mm-hmm. 
So it's like, oh, because he's in his head. That's why. it's He's not really there. Like, there is a sniper out there, but he's not talking to him. Yeah. No, that would have been cool. Uh, I think it would have been really, a really frustrating dismount, though. Like, once they reveal that, you'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. That's just what I thought was happening. Yeah, yeah. And then, nope, he was really there, and he supposedly really shot the water bottle and all that stuff. So yeah, he his aim was exceptional. Every time he pulled the trigger, he hit exactly what he was trying to hit. Even if they were moving, even if there was things in the way, even if dust was blowing all over and you couldn't see anything. And I get yeah, that, that there's people crazy. that can do that, but I feel Not like, time. yeah, that's what I was going to say. I feel like they can do that once, right? They can, they can hit a very specific target as long as they have the element of surprise. Yep. Once that's gone, nah. Yeah. There's, I, I don't, I don't buy it. I don't, I can't just accept that. I won't. <laughs> I refuse. I'm taking a stand on this. Um, but yeah, it, 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 you know, it goes through and he, he is this sympathetic guy who's just trying to defend his home, defend his country's honor. Like they, at one point that he calls them friends and he's like, well, would a friend shoot at each other? Like, that's not what friends do. And he's like, well, what if your friend shot you in the back? Wouldn't you do something about it? Like the idea of like, you guys attacked us first and I'm just defending what's rightfully ours. And it's just, uh, I didn't like it. Was it was weird, weird dialogue. So. I did, I did like where, so he took his jacket off, right? And he put his, his, uh, helmet on yeah. the gun uh-huh. to try to, try to get the, just to try to get a better idea of where this sniper is, right? Yeah. So he's like, slowly like lifting it up to see if he can get the sniper to take a shot. And then it shows the point of view of the sniper and he just like is laughing at him. Yeah. Cause the helmet falls off the gun. <laughs> <laughs> it falls over the wall. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah, that was the only part I, I, I kind of liked that felt. He was just like, really? really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, John Cena wakes up towards the end of the movie and so- he, they, he tells him where the guy is. Uh, Aaron Jan- Taylor Johnson tells him the sniper's in the trash at this area and John Cena's got one chance. Oh, well, like, Sort of. He takes like six shots. And he just shoots. Yeah, he, shoots doo, 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 doo. he just keeps shooting. And yeah, it's... nothing happens. And then he starts crawling back, crawling back, trying to get to Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson and yeah. gets shot through the head, which I appreciated. Uh, I thought that was, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was I realistic. a good John Cena death. <laughs> like that, that felt like another moment that was like real. Like see, I don't get why didn't the sniper just shoot John Cena again like early on when he saw that he was still alive? Uh well I don't think he knew that he was still alive. Cuz he didn't immediately stop moving, right? He kept moving. He was trying to like he was trying to get up. He was trying to move around yeah. like he obviously wasn't dead. Well, he used I I thought the, the way that he f- fell uh-huh. that the sniper couldn't see him anymore. Oh, yeah, no, he could see him. And that's the why no time. more shots were taken. Yeah, well, I I mean I know that now. Yeah. The, the sniper was using John Cena as leverage. A way to pull the other guy out. Yeah. yeah. Because I think he was using the idea of like, well, he could still be alive. You could still save him. Or like, I'm going to just tear his face off is something that he kept saying. Like his family's <laughs> not even going to recognize him because I'm going to blow his face off. Yeah. He kept focusing on that. But he's the, he's the sympathetic guy who's just defending himself, you know? Like he's not exactly. He's not a psychopath. No, of course not. Um. So. Uh, so okay. So. So he finally okay. Go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> John Cena is crawling back, and gets shot through the he gets face. Capped. Yeah. Yep. But the gun His family doesn't recognize him. The gun is close enough to Aaron Taylor Johnson that he's able to pull it in. He's got one shot. So he finally pushes over the wall. He says, like, I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die. Pushes the wall down, kicks up a bunch of dust, aims, takes a shot, and nothing happens. There's no yep. no return fire. And then he stands up, 
And he's like, I think I did it. Helicopter lands behind him. He gets on the helicopter. They're giving him oxygen and talking to him. And they've telegraphed this from so far away. I wanted to punch my computer screen. <laughs> the sniper is still alive and shoots everyone in the helicopter. Like, okay, keep in mind, there was two helicopters and I'm pretty sure he shoots them both down. Does he shoot them both down? I, I didn't re- remember the second one, but this is, has to be impossible, right? There's no way. Unless it was hovering, you know, fine, but it wasn't, right? They no, were they're, leaving. they're leaving. So the also, angle of where the sniper. Ju- why not just shoot the pilot? The rest will take care of itself. Yeah. Well, yeah, cause he shoots the guys through the bay doors. Then he shoots the yeah. pilot. Then the helicopter crashes. It's just, as soon as the first shot would have taken one guy out, that pilot would have whipped and like try to get out of there. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's just, it was so bad. Like they hold on the shot of Aaron Taylor Johnson getting medical treatment for so long. You're like, there's no reason for this other than to just take away his safety. Like they're like trying to reinforce like, oh, he's safe. You know, he's made it. He survived. He got through it all. And it's like, oh, no, he's he's clearly about to die. So it was at that point when the shots started going off, I thought uh, I went back to thinking that it wasn't really happening. Right. Because that, that, that seemed too unrealistic. I thought he was imagining just everyone getting a shot. Right. And then it was going to crash. And then he, he was going to wake up and he was just going to still be laying there behind the wall. Yeah. But nope, it all really happened. Yeah, it's this is not one I would recommend. I was I was uh, really man. disappointed because I the trailer I to me looks great. I think the trailer looks really interesting. Like I said, I think the idea of trying to to save John Cena under sniper fire is very compelling. Yeah, and but. It, I, See, I, I never watched the trailer, so I had no expectations, so I'm not as disappointed. Yeah. I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't set my hopes high. I, I don't know. Yeah. But that's about it. Also, I didn't even actually realize that that was, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson until I saw his name at the end. Yeah. So that's the guy from Kickass. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, he's come a long way. <laughs> he did a pretty good job, but. Oh, no, for sure he did. There was something off about him, about John Cena. Was it his accent? Maybe. I don't know what it was, but they weren't quite viable as soldiers. Like, um, yeah, I could see that. Like, it, um, it, I couldn't put my finger on what it was. There was something inauthentic about yeah. the way they were portraying what a soldier is and maybe it was by design that maybe because they were being so careless yeah that was at, at the beginning yeah that was pretty bad like the you don't you don't like he was like i'm just gonna go check it out hang on yeah it's like no i mean i i, I maybe that happens but I, I really doubt that that happens like I doubt that it happens with like actual snipers. Like they're just too smart and too trained for that. Yeah. Like, that, that is like what you're doing is like textbook ambush. You know, it's like you come on, you got to know better than that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It uh, didn't make their actions didn't make sense. No, it was, it was bad. It was very disappointing, but that's all I have to say about this movie. Is there anything else? Yeah. Same here. So next, that's, our next episode is going to be The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. Uh, yes. If you want to check that out now, you can go over to patreon.com slash Matt, And for a dollar, you can get all our episodes two weeks in advance. You can also help decide who has to pay the punishment at the end of the month. Uh, depending and I on- want everyone to know, I've already got a movie in mind. <laughs> well, so this is... Vote for me. <laughs> um you can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod, and you can like us on Facebook.